So, hi guys, Lou Beltran here, the IT Veteran. In today's video, we're going to be initializing already our uh, Unify Security Gateway and connecting it to the internet. So, let's get started. Okay, so hi guys. Um, we now have our Unify Security Gateways here uh, prepped and ready. And... Uh, our next step is to hook up our laptop going into the Unify Security Gateway. So I have already uh, the CAT6 cable here. And I'll need to hook it up to LAN1 of our uh, Unify Security Gateway. So that will give our laptop uh, the network connectivity for... Uh, uh, going to our unified security gateway now the internet connection is currently right here at the bottom um, this is a temporary modem that was provided to us by the isp um, it's currently hooked up to a uh, 200 mbps fiber con uh, broadband connection now it's supposed to be 1000 but as of the moment the hotel is currently still closed and under construction um, just a little bit of uh, uh, touching up before uh, the go live of the hotel so um, the 1000 mbps is not really needed yet so uh, this is going to be a temporary setup for our uh, internet connection um, once i have upgraded this one to 1000 mbps that's the time that the isp will come in and replace that unit and that unit is currently converting our that modem is currently converting our internet connection from fiber to copper so as you can see, this is the internet connection. So let's hook it up to one, one. Okay, so let's just cover this one up. And let's go to our uh, Dell laptop. So in order for us to configure uh, the Unify Security Gateway, we need to open up our in, uh, browser. Then just type here uh at the top so let me just uh zoom that one here 192 one that one that's the uh default ip address for your unify security gateway so as you can see here okay it's already uh i'm having problems with my zoom here there okay so just uh, click on accept here and click on advanced and just go directly to uh, the unify security gateway okay so um, as of the moment you will see that um, the gateway is unable to connect to the internet please check your configuration um, why is that because we haven't configured yet our connection type and uh, internet uh, internet basically so what we need to do is we need to go to configuration here then we need to change this one from BHCP to um, PPPoE as you can see that's uh, what the ISP has given us PPPoE then it's going to ask us for the username and the password for our internet connection and I'm going to be entering it in um, the ISP already actually gave me the the credentials here so I can't really show it to you okay um, but they wrote everything here on this uh, piece of paper so let me just pause this video enter the details in and we'll resume from there okay so i've already entered uh the details for the username and the password on our ptpoe uh, uh internet connection then as you can see there's the lan settings so the lan settings is currently using dhcp to give ip address to my laptop and at the bottom you will see their uh, controller settings this is where you will actually put in uh, the IP address of your Unify controller so that your Unify security gateway will, will register to it. 
Um, but as of the moment, we won't register this yet. We just want an internet connection for uh, the Unify Security Gateway. So let's just hit uh, hit the accept uh, button here. Okay, so let's just wait for it to uh, take effect. Okay, so there it is. Um, we're now we can now go back to the main screen, and we the username and the password for the PPPoE settings is already in place. Then we just need to connect. So let's just wait for it to uh, dial in into the ISP, and now our gateway is connected to the internet. And uh, as you can see at the bottom of my screen. Um, my internet connection is already up so let's try and test this one let's open up Google or let's just open up Facebook and see there we already have our internet connection That's it fellow IT engineers for this video segment. Um, the next video will be registering our Unify Security Gateway to our Unified Network Controller on AWS. So that's it fellow IT engineers and I'll see you in the next video.